I'm Libra. Welcome to our channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Somebody here wants to apologize to you. They know they need to apologize to you. And also, too, there's an energy out here of you guys having to make two choices. You're going to have two choices when it comes to love. Like, it's like pick one or the other. One of these people you have a past attached to who you really wanted it to work, but there's somebody else that's new that's a better option for you. And it seems like to me there's an energy of like you leaving the past person behind. Okay. So, but there's a channel message that I want to share with you guys. <laughs> this is a story, okay? And I felt like this was a message that someone needed to hear. Um, there are some things that are happening in your life where you, maybe you were trying to, I just heard somebody was trying to have a baby. I, I don't even know where that came from. I never really talk about that on this channel. So maybe that is for one person that sees this video. Someone here has been trying to maybe have children, maybe um, start a new business, or uh, they've been like experiencing certain things, or they, they, it's like somebody's trying over and over again to try to like find themselves or find their purpose, start that business and, or, you know, succeed in that business or succeed in their career, whatever it is that your heart is desiring. And it's like, you don't, <laughs> it's like you, you put, been putting in all this work, but you can't find the it's like you try this, you try that, you tried all these things and this thing didn't work, that thing didn't work. For some of you guys, there's something here that worked in the past. You need to go back to it and reevaluate that. Think about what it is that you did in the past that worked, that kind of gave you that push. You did that one thing and you, you felt like you had some momentum and then the momentum kind of slowed down. Go back to that thing that gave you that momentum. Now, for others of you, there um, is an energy here of it's not one size fits all, right? There, You try three and four things and none of those things work, but you're getting ready to, Spirit is saying, don't give up. Keep pushing forward. It doesn't matter who doesn't support you. It doesn't matter if that first thing didn't fit that you tried. It doesn't matter if that second thing that you did didn't work out. It doesn't matter if that third thing you did. You getting what I'm saying? You following me? It doesn't matter how many times you tried. Keep pushing and moving forward, okay? Because it, eventually it is going to give and something is going to work out. And as simple as... <laughs> This is about to sound real crazy, y'all. But like the reason I say that is because like I was trying to find something and find something and I could not find it, right? And then I went back and I was like, well, I'll replace it with this. That didn't work. I'll replace it with that. That didn't work. I'll replace it with that. That didn't work. And I was like, God dang it. Well, what is the problem? And I was like, let me stop, take a breath, reassess the situation and go back to where I think it is or where I think I found it, right? And then I found it. Y'all, long story short, I went back to that thing and it was there. I overlooked it. So maybe there's something here that you're overlooking from the past that can help you with something in the future. It's going to be, it's a good fit, okay? So don't give up. It's the point that I'm making. It's going to work out. Now, let's see who this person, well, I don't know if I want to see who this person is, but let's just talk about what's, What's going on for y'all? Okay. Let's just see what comes out. Some of you guys could be an air sign. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, or you could have some air in your chart. Somebody here could be an Aries or dealing with an Aries here. But there is a person, an air sign here, maybe, or an Aries, or somebody who's very stubborn, okay, um, that knows that they owe you an apology, but they're too stubborn to apologize to you. So they're just gonna just watch, wait, and lurk in the background, okay? Anyway, I don't know why Spirit wanted to talk about that, but what else do we have for the collective, please? All right. Yeah. Somebody's about to pop up, y'all. Somebody here is about to pop up. Whoever this person is that's getting ready to either pop up at your work, your job, catch you on the street, whatever it is, they might know where you frequent, where you go, whatever, wherever this person is like 
You may even get a text message or a phone call or a DM from somebody saying like, hey, please answer the door when I come over there. Somebody wants to talk to you. This could be that same person who wants an apology, okay? So they either want you to answer the door or they want you to answer the phone, okay? But be careful with this person because I feel like when they come towards you and they apologize, the stubborn energy is almost like they're not being honest with you about what really happened they're not being honest they're leaving out some real important details or like you know this is the kind of person who like apologizes without saying i'm sorry they do everything they can to avoid saying i'm so sorry i apologize they they'll come towards you and say oh man i was going through a lot you know i know i ain't tell you i didn't share that with you then male or female doesn't matter who this person is right as far as their gender is concerned but it's like, oh, I was just going through so much. I didn't know how to deal with it. This person, 20, 30 minutes later in the, to the conversation, they still have not said, I'm sorry. They haven't apologized to you. You know, this isn't somebody like who says like, I didn't, I didn't mean to make you feel that way. That's not an apology. That's not an apology. But the thing is, this person is realizing and getting clarity on the fact that they were wrong and they owe you an apology, but they're still going to be too stubborn to get it, to give it to you. <sighs> Somebody here had, this person had a third party and this third party that they were with um, is did everything they could to keep you and this person apart. Okay, yeah, somebody here, I'm telling you, somebody's in denial. They're getting ready to come out of denial. They could have thought that you would run behind them too. Somebody's got a karmic partner, a karmic third party here. This person knows that they need to be honest with you. There goes that fire energy again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody here knows it's time for them to be honest with you and give you an apology and stop come out of this stubborn energy. You intimidate me so much. I've never met someone like you. So the fact that this person is so stubborn, it's almost like they never met anybody who who had energy like you, who were standing on business, who were independent, you know, really didn't ask for much at all. Really, I feel like you didn't ask for anything from this person, but for them to be honest with you and for them to really treat you with tender tenderness love and kind and care you know what i'm saying that's really all you ask from this person and they still couldn't do that for some of y'all there's two different people here there's one person who's stubborn and then there's another person who who owes you an apology and then there's another person who puts you in a third party situation so i don't know if these people coming back or all at the same time but i'm telling you there's a third party for some of y'all if it wasn't a third party relationship and they chose somebody else over you or they chose another situation over what they had with you right which was divine they chose that karmic situation some of you it was their friends who were jealous your their friends didn't want to see you happy together um which is so crazy to me because I feel like this person thought you were really going to like run behind them. This person wanted their way and you wouldn't let them have it. And they were really upset with you. So we're definitely dealing with somebody who is definitely like stubborn as heck. They feel like they were in competition with you. Like you couldn't do better with them. And trust me, this is almost on some sleeping with the enemy type shit which is sad to me because this person is supposed to be your divine counterpart your divine masculine or your divine feminine but this person is out here in this uh stubborn ass aries energy whether they're aries or not that's just somebody here who's really selfish you know this is somebody who prides themselves on maybe being a leader you know or an entrepreneur or something of that you know energy and this person was very stubborn with you and they just allowed all this third party drama to get involved and then when you stood up for yourself and you said something to this person or you tried to right because i feel like they pushed back on you so this tells me they went somewhere easier with definitely if they ch chose a karmic right so this person would be upset and mad with you when you called them on their on their crap yeah, and now this person is in the energy of comparing you to other people now nobody compares to you though that's what they're getting clarity on. That's what this Ace of Swords energy is about. 
now they're afraid it's too late to come back towards you because they feel like you've moved on. I feel like right now there are several people who feel like you've moved on. I do. Some of y'all have physically moved on, moved on, and relocated. You have a new life. You're moving into a new phase of life, and you really don't care about what the heck these people have going on. You know, you, you've been living a great life. You, I'm telling you, whoever I'm talking to, my collective here, you guys that resonate with this, you're very special. You're one of a kind. And this person and these people know that. They know that. You just been focusing on healing. You know, show me the collective. You've been focusing on, yeah, reflection. You're, you, you, I'm telling you, I feel like you put a mirror up to a lot of people's faces that really like, uh, you know, made them see themselves for who they are or triggered them, triggered them to see themselves in some way, shape or form. And now they're like, oh crap, like maybe the collective was right. All the collective wanted me to do was to grow and heal and level up. But no, they didn't want to do that. Ascension just came out in reverse. They didn't want to ascend. You were ascending, right? You Because you've been through this thing, so you, you know what it looks like, okay? So this person felt like you were pushing back on them, trying to tell them what kind of woman to be or what kind of man to be. No, uh-uh, that wasn't what the case was. They were too busy trying to fight you on that. So I feel like a lot of y'all really gave up. So now you've leveled up, you've ascended, and like these people are catching up with you, or I hope they catch up with you. Some of them may not. Show me what the collective has coming ahead. What's ahead for the collective? Let's see what's coming ahead for you guys, because I see a lot of people are about to get left behind is what it looks like. Um, yeah, you guys are very, very ambitious, very ambitious people. You take your money seriously. You take works very seriously here. You solve problems. You're someone here who's, who is able to like solve a lot of problems here. You, um, are able to solve like very complex problems at that. So you're somebody here who has a busy schedule, like I said, so that energy may come off as like, that could be why somebody was so intimidated. Somebody's calendar is booked and busy. That like, literally, you work very hard for everything that you have. You best, That's because you've been patient and you've been disciplined. You know what I'm saying? You went through a lot here with this Capricorn energy. We also have Gemini energy out here as well too. You just, I feel like you have been able to adapt. You've been rolling with the flow. That one didn't work. Okay, I'll try this one. Like I was saying, that third thing didn't work. Okay, I'll try try this and move on to the next thing. Whatever it is that you do, I just feel like people are intimidated by you and they try to project that energy, right? Reflection. It's like your energy makes people look in the mirror, take a look in the mirror at themselves and it's like oh my gosh people are frustrated with that <laughs> they're just frustrated with that they're realizing it though they're they you knew that life is you know throwing curveballs at you and you knew how you you knew what you had to do all right you knew what you had to do. Somebody here is dealing with somebody here that has addictions. For some of you, all the addiction, some of this this past person you were dealing with, addiction with money, addiction with sex, addiction with gambling, whatever that addiction was, it hurt this per person's pockets or karma came back on them, okay? But y'all have... um have so many facets to you like you can do so many things like you're discovering a new you and I just feel like you were in the process of having going through this ascension and leveling up and listening to your intuition and trusting it and listening to the signs and paying attention to the signs and the synchronicities and listening to what God told you to do you know however it is or whoever it is that you believe in that like people look up to you for that but low-key they're like 
jealous that they are haven't grown that far yet but then like when you try to help these people i really feel like they were just button heads with you like they made you feel like they tried to project onto you like oh don't try to change me and it's like damn ain't nobody trying to change you i want you to do better anyway y'all you know how that is i'm telling you ego is big here some of y'all are changing your look or you've thought about changing your look like maybe changing your haircut your hair color or something different with your hair and your face or something here somebody could have had a nose job here recently too um i don't even know why <laughs> that just came out but whatever um but you're definitely going through some form of awakening right now it's like your identity is just changing you're turning into somebody else for the better okay for the better yeah empowerment activate intensifies joining forces focus strength okay prominence this is you. Look at this Saturn energy. Discipline, slow and steady, delay. See, these people were tests, okay? This was just a test. That's it. You may have felt delayed, but that's okay because I feel like y'all, with this energy that I'm seeing, you passed that test because you feel like you were pushed to your limit at times and you were really frustrated, you know, but you endured this. So now you are really taking control over your life, emperor energy here, and you're being bold and you're taking action and you're moving quickly. You are a leader. So it's time for you to step into your power, which I feel like you're already doing that with this cardinal moon energy. Okay, this is this is totally you. So this Saturn energy and this cardinal moon energy, you are there. Keep pushing, like I said. Let's get one more. Thank you. There goes some fire energy again. I could definitely be, you could be a Leo or have been dealt with a Leo or an Aries or a Sagittarius here. There's a lot of fire out here. Um, I feel like you're attracting something here too. There's a need for you to be courageous and keep moving and keep pushing here. Don't slow down. I feel like Spirit is saying don't slow down. Yeah, look at this wolf pack the wolf moon energy this is about surviving right exploring your options of uh, being resourceful like using your intuition and your instinct as a guy you know what i'm saying because these animals are they're survivalists right they have an internal compass this is about you using your internal compass your instincts and being a fighter <laughs> strong 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 energy you're in your dang old power keep pushing don't let any don't worry about these people so what else here for the collective that air sign came right back out Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Some of y'all have a, have a fake friend who that was an air sign is the person that owes you an apology. It's definitely somebody who here who two, was two-faced. It talked about you behind your back and then smiled in your face. Or this is there's a friend in your energy that like used you for clout. They didn't want you for anything but for the benefits of how they could like benefit from a situation. So you know that already though. Yeah, they definitely use you. Or this person was with you because of who you were, what you have, because you're in this leadership, queen bee, emperor, empress energy, powerful, confident, strong. People acted like they supported you, but they didn't support you. They, I feel like they did not support you. I feel like you had to get it out the mud the best way that you could on your own. Or with little to no resources, you know, whatever that is. But you were able to create a more abundant life and a legacy for yourself. Or these people that are looking at you or look up to you that are secretly jealous of you. They feel like that's where you're headed. Yeah. So be mindful if y'all have somebody else out here. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people listening after you. There's a lot of people listening after you. You are looking real good these days. Whatever you did to change your look or your persona or your identity, it's like you reinvented yourself or something. You're very, people find you very physically and sexually attractive. 
Like you're just in this very sensual, sexual, but confident energy. It's not like, you know, use a whole energy, you know what I mean? I'm, it's this is energy of like, you are a king, you're a queen, and you carry yourself very well. Um, but there are some people around you who want to be like you or look up to this energy, but they have a, they're not willing to put in half the work, half the commitment. They're lazy. They, you know what I'm saying? They're just lazy. Or some people may feel like you slept your way to the top. No, you didn't sleep your way to the top. You worked hard. So somebody may have misjudged you here. Their loss. Whoever misjudged you is having some legal issues right now. They're stressing out over some form of legal issue. Somebody is either getting sued, they're fighting some, some having some form of legal battle in court. Somebody just had to hire a lawyer or they need to hire a lawyer. They better hire one. Something was going wrong in this person's life. And this is all because they made bad choices and they took shortcuts. What They didn't know how much work you put into something. This person here doesn't have any money. They're fake flexing. Whoever this person is, whether you dated them or this is this fake friend. I feel like this is several people. This part, these people have pretended to have more than they had. They were all about material wealth. They were just putting on a front. They were putting up, making it, doing everything for clout. And the thing is that they don't know you put in the work and the effort and you've been doing this for a long time and this is your purpose and you don't do it for the clout. You don't do it for the material wealth or gain. You do it because you enjoy it. You, whatever it is that you're doing and you're good at that you're either gaining material wealth or abundance with right now or whatever these, these people think you're going to gain from that. It's because you are good at it and, and that, that's part of your purpose and your power. But if you're not born with it, you can't fake it and cut corners and think it's just going to come. Like, no, no. I'm telling you, whoever these people are in your in your energy, cut them loose. I think you already did. Just cut them loose. These people are messy. They're immature. They need to grow the hell up. Yeah. They're going to be long. <laughs> they about to be lonely, disappointed. I'm telling you, somebody here is disappointed in their decisions and their choices and now they are having to live up to it i feel like the ball is in your court on whether or not you are going to take somebody back listen to what they have to say be their friend give it any time effort or any energy i just feel like a lot of y'all not doing it but whoever this person is that was in the seven of swords energy cutting corners being deceitful fake friend the person that had you in a third party and or had addictions and treated you like trash or whatever the case may be. They're in sorrow and regret and pain for that now because they've created a whole, I'm telling you, a fan. These people are fans of you. They try to act like these are people who don't support you. Never done a damn thing for you, right? Man said they were going to do something for you. Maybe, maybe they did say they believed in you, but this a fan energy just came out in reverse. They low-key are fans for you, but they try to act like they are not. They can't even stop talking about you and gossiping you with, to other people. They're low-key obsessed with your life. I don't know what it is that they're looking at that is, or what they're hearing about you. This is crazy. I'm just... You could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio here. Let me see what came out with Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like you guys moved on and you're getting your money here. You left this behind. Somebody may think that you were a gold digger or someone here was a gold digger. And you left the gold digger behind. Flip and switch it, whatever it fits. What What about this water sign? What about this water sign? This could be a karmic soulmate or a twin flame here. What about this water sign? Blocked. Whoever this person is, this is blocked. They have no access to you or you have blocked them. I wonder how they find this information out there. Be careful with who you're telling your business to. Because if somebody doesn't have access or they can't get any updates, they want updates on you. They want to know. 
but then we have this energy of something being public and then we have letting go of reverse somebody's having real deep trouble trying to let you go they want to know what the hell you're doing and i feel like they don't have access to you so they're getting it by whatever means they have to get it by show me what else for the collective please Yeah, the devil. Capricorn energy. Mm-hmm. Karmic ties. Yeah. Show me. Seven of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Like I said, let me get some more energy. Y'all work really hard, and you're definitely frustrated with these toxic karmic people. And low-key, I'm telling you, Six of Wands is here. Somebody loves attention, too. I don't know. It's like people do whatever they do for money. They cut corners. Like, whatever they're doing for money to cut corners, they're in a legal issue, having legal issues right now, and they're really broke, and they're out here doing everything for clout. Six of, six of Wands, the Devil and Seven of Pentacles, they doing any and everything for clout. Like... They doing the wrong things just to get attention. You're the exact, just to get attention. Six of Wands, the star, Aquarius energy. I'm telling you, who they look at you like you are the Six of Wands and the star. But these people are doing some really devilish things, some really karmic -y things for attention. Five of Pentacles, but now guess what? They have so much regret and remorse. Their pockets have been hit. They are going through legal problems. Five of Pentacles, depressed, blocked. Now they are the outsider. Child, it's good. It's good. It's like a soap opera. Let me know, y'all. Hit the like button. Three of Cups. Look at this. All because they wanted to party be in the limelight have fun drink hang out put you in a third party situation you know what i'm saying act like they were your friend but they weren't <laughs> show me right here queen of wands like i said y'all definitely could be dealing with a fire sign here you could have a fire sign friend Okay, could be one of those people who low key was really loves attention, but for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles is out here now and twin flame. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. So now there's a twin here. Show me more about this twin flame. Show me more about this twin flame. The magician. Gemini energy. Show me more about this twin flame, please. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify this nine of Pentacles. The chariot. Oh, honey, you done moved on. You done moved on. Some of y'all moved on. You may have... You have manifested a twin flame. You're in this Queen of Pentacles energy, right? Remember, Queen B, you're, you're getting your money, your focus. The Twin Flame card of the Magician, the Nine of Pentacles, when I clarify that, that's the Chariot card. So I don't feel like this Nine of Pentacles, were, it didn't go in reverse. It went kind of crossing, but I didn't feel like that needs to be crossing or in reverse, like that's meant to be upright. And then I have the chariot. This just, to me, looks like you're getting over the, this bull crap. You're leveled up already and you've manifested something new and you're moving on and you're going to be doing very well for yourself. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, the chariot. Somebody here may buy them a nice little car, a new car, a sports car here. Somebody's laughing all the way to the bank. Yeah, you laughing all the way to the bank, Nine of Cups. You about to laugh all the way to the day going bank. Nine of Pentacles, the Chariot, Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Your wishes are being fulfilled. You are moving on to, like, peace. Six of Swords. Peace. You're moving on to peace. Ah, you're progressing. 
you you might have to have some tough conversations with some of these people that want to come back into your life. Y'all gonna be turning people down. Y'all gonna be turning people down. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, you you healing from them. You have peace. You finally have peace and harmony in your life, and you're gonna be turning people down. What what is this? Show me more. Child, I don't know who this is trying to come towards you with some old Knight of Cups energy. There is a King of Pentacles. There's somebody here who um Death Card Scorpio energy that you ended it with that wants to bring you some form of love offer. This person is heartbroken without you. They want to bring you the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Like, I don't see them bringing much towards you. Now, this is showing up as your person. So, this could be somebody, I feel like this is somebody old, right? Especially with this Three of Swords being here. And this um Death card being on the bottom of the deck, right? Um, This is your match. At one point, the two of y'all were on the same page or this person views you as being a match for them, like the perfect match for them. Because you're already out here as the queen of pentacles. This king of pentacles showed up and they're like, oh, I want to make this love offer their heart broken and page of pentacles. They want to bring balance back into harmony, back into a situation and heal, you know, uh, with this temperance energy. But I'm just, show me this king of pentacles energy. Hold on, a bunch of cards just it's ten of, show me this King of Pentacles energy. Show me the death card. <laughs> that was just on the bottom of the deck. Show me this King of Pentacles energy. It's somebody you ended it with. Show me King of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. They want a new beginning. Show me King of Pentacles. Knight of Wands, show me this King of Pentacles, and Nick, okay, Emperor. Huh. Two of Cups on the bottom of the day. You might get back with this person and the Sun card because they're in regret. They played a lot of games. Five of Wands, Five of Cups. Yeah, this person played a lot of games with you. Um, This is your Divine Masculine. They could be a Leo. They could be an Aries. We got a, we saw a lot of fire energy out here with this Two of Cups. So you you think this person is your match too. But I, it shows me that you've moved on. So, But this person has not moved on. They're depressed and they're suffering over this loss that they feel. Like they feel like regretful. Like they are not enjoying this separation. If you, you know, but they got a lot of drama going on in their life. Huh. somebody's trying to find the strength to move forward you might be hearing from somebody here that's telling you they're moving um anywho i'm gonna end there i don't i hope this resonated hit the like button you guys i love y'all i'm sorry the reading was so long but i had to okay i love y'all okay bye